how do I measure the two pieces of material for a rivet? So we're going to demonstrate to you here how to do it. Let's just look at this as in place so you can't see the back side, even though we're going to show you the back side. Um, and all you need is a nail or a screw, a flathead screw, something that has some type of lip on it that you can grab the back side with. That's what we're looking for. You would put the nail in the hole, okay, and you just pull it. And you take a sharpie or a marker and just pull up on it and then put a mark on your nail. And you see there's the mark. You take a caliper or your tape measure and then you would measure it, which this comes out to about 0.478. This is an 8.8, so this uh, grip range is between a quarter inch and a half inch. We needed a 0.479 which falls in that range. So we're between, this, this rivet goes between 0.25 and 0.50. So let's review the different materials available and types of rivets. So this is a structural rivet. This particular rivet is steel and steel. The mandrel is steel and the hat is steel. And this is what they call a blind rivet. These three are aluminum rivets. These are just typical pop or blind rivets. And we also have what we call a white rivet with aluminum mandrel. So here's the mandrel and that's the white hat. So when you put the, put the uh, rivet in and complete it, all you're gonna see is a white finish like like for a white soffit or a brown soffit. So they come in different colors depending upon the finish um, that you're installing them in. There's also, these are zinc rivets. These are large flange. You can see here the large dome flange on this hat. So it covers more surface um, when you're installing the rivet. Sometimes you need more surface, you're holding a larger piece of material. These are um, copper brass rivets. The mandrel is brass and the hat is copper. However, the mandrel is actually steel with a plating, a brass on top of it. These are 100% copper rivets. A lot of roofers use these rivets for flashing, many other applications, soffits, um, downspouts, so many different applications for the brass. These are stainless blind pop rivets. I have several different types and this is what we call a closed end pop rivet. You can see here the back is square and solid so these are waterproof so if you install these in a water application these will not leak or or build water up inside the the tubular part of the rivet these are also stainless countersunk pop rivets so you'll see that there's a, I believe it's a 33 degree uh, hat on here. So when you install this rivet, it'll be flush with the material. These are installed in a lot of things like tracks that you're putting a rail in or something along that that you just don't want any type of head sticking up. And then we have what we call multi-grip rivets. With multi-grip, they're based upon increments of two. So a multi-grip will go from 42, 44, and 46. So it'll cover three different lengths. And that's why they call them multi-grip rivets. So I'm going to install several rivets 
Um, the first one I'm going to install is this copper rivet with the standard rivet tool, hand tool. Mandrel goes in to the tool first, like this, all the way in. I'm going to place it. I'm using a piece of uh, structural steel. This is just for demonstration. I pre-drilled the holes already. And then you just put it in and you squeeze it until you get the snap. And that baby's installed. Pushed it in. Bam. One thing I would uh, caution you on is to drill the correct size hole for the rivet. The rivet should have no slack when you drill a hole. It should be tight right against the rivet. Actually, you should force the, uh, the rivet in place a little bit. It should just be like friction fit. And that's what you get after you pop the rivet. You get the broken mandrel. It cuts the mandrel right off. This is the multi-grip. I've never used one of these myself, but here's the first time. So it's double pull. So it keeps pulling it in. And you can see in the back here, there it goes. So it's a double action. You have to um, push the lever twice. That's the front. They're all finished. They're all in there very well. And then I'm going to show you the back. And that's the side that you wouldn't see. Uh, that's why they call them blind rivets. Because the back side... Uh, you put them into a hole that you're trying to fasten two pieces. You can't get to the back of it with a, you know, with a nut and try to hold it while you put a screw in. This is the perfect application. And um, there you go.